What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about Healthy Choices Management, tickers HCMC. So I've been getting some questions on some of my previous videos as far as the whole spinoff. So I wanted to address some of those. But more specifically, they came out recently with their Q1 earnings. And I want to give you a good breakdown of what they are truly saying. So I'm going to go over all that. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So this was submitted on April the 24th by HCMC as far as a tentative Q&A. So it goes over all the things that you need to know. But I still have been getting some very common questions that I just wanted to address. One of which is some people want to know where is my HCWC shares? So a couple of tentative uh, answers to that. Well, assuming you held into April 26, 2023, that is the ex-dividend date. And assuming you had at least 71,000 shares, then yes, you do qualify. But this has not been rubber stamped by the SEC and nor have they been accepted into the New York Stock Exchange. So both of those do need to occur. Uh, before the issuance of HCWC. So most likely it will be several months, most likely. So you kind of just have to be patient and watch HCMC kind of go up and down as much as it is. And on a side note, so I have been getting some questions. Why is it showing at minus 100%? And unfortunately, that just has to do with depending on the broker that you do have. Sometimes the brokers are just not suited to handle obviously four or five digits or potentially even six digits uh, stock. So definitely, I think it has to do with that, unfortunately. But still, depending on your average, especially if you do have an average of maybe one cent or triple zero one or triple zero three, given where it is now, it for the most part is almost at a hundred percent. So I think it could also be just rounding up behind the scenes as well. So it's one of those two things on a side note. And oddly enough, I did get some questions because on my last video, I brought up some of my concerns about this whole spinoff. And I did get some kind of follow up questions as far as that. So in case you guys do not know, based on the whole four point plan, there is four things as you can see right here. So there's a buyback of 5 million of HCMC stock. There's the spinoff. Uh, there's also an equity raise and also kind of a dividend. So as of right now, they have actually done these three. They have not bought back any shares. But a common question was, are they ever going to buy back any shares? And I kind of brought this up on my last video. I actually fell for it a little bit, but it does say right here, up to $5 million. And unfortunately, they can technically not even buy back any shares and it would not really be considered lying per se. So in reality, I don't think that they are going to buy back any shares because more specifically, looking at the recent earnings that was just submitted today, um, it does show that they have $19.7 million as of March 31st, 2023. So definitely they cannot afford $5 million. They are, it's just not in the cards. And unfortunately, based on the four point plan as well, my big concern ever since this came out uh, August of 2022, my concern was in their head, they are going to spin off this company that is going to have, for instance, several assets as you can see right here it is going to be the grocery chain and also the wellness center so they're going to take those convert it into hcwc and be instantly profitable i just do not see that happening and especially more so by looking at for instance these earnings so yes the cash has gone down a little bit they are still burning through a lot of money, but more specifically looking at the grocery sales, yeah, it has gone up a lot compared to 2022, so 13.5 million, but look at how much it actually cost for the groceries, or at least uh, kind of for the sales, it was 8.6 million. So as far as comparing 2023 to 2022, the margins are getting less and less uh, profitable for them. So like I've been saying this whole time, unfortunately they are switching and kind of converting a lot of the unprofitable businesses to HCWC. And that is once again, these two uh, right here. So the wellness center and the grocery chain. Whereas myself, I was a very big fan of, for instance, the Q-Cup and Vape Store, both of which that have huge profit margins, roughly around 40 to 60%. Whereas for instance, the grocery chain is maybe max 10%. It's just not in the cards. So definitely that is something to really consider um, in reality. But while I am on the earnings, you can kind of put it in perspective exactly, for instance, the vape sales looking at 2022, um, based on and the cost associated to obtain those sales, 
it is clearly a lot more profitable for the vape store than anything. Uh, but again, on a side note, they are still burning through a lot of money, even more so than 2022 in comparison. So definitely something to really be aware of, which on a side note, I am not knocking HCWC because technically I know the grocery chain and wellness center are better for society, is better for people. But I think my viewpoint, who isn't a financial advisor, of course, I just like fat profit margins. And unfortunately, it's not necessarily in the cards with those two. And one thing that I kind of didn't really understand that I did bring up on my previous video, HCMC does have a lot of uh, patents, a lot of intellectual property, the vitamin store, of course, as well, and the Q-Cup and Vape store. So when it comes down to, for instance, looking at their earnings, it doesn't necessarily kind of uh, signal exactly what they're doing. So it does say right here, following the spinoff, HCMC will retain its entire patent suite, the Q-Cup brand, and continue to develop its patent suite through r and as well as continuing his path of enforcing through that whole patent infringement and stuff like that. So they don't really necessarily bring up, for instance, even the vape store. What is happening with a vape store? Nor do they even say who is managing. They do not even bring this up. And even it kind of signals for you to go to note 12. Note 12 does not talk on this. So who exactly is going to be managing and paying for, for instance, HCMC? Because they are going to be taking all that 19 million and moving it to, for instance, HCWC. So that's still a very valid question that I'm very, very curious about. And even looking at, for instance, the earnings, it doesn't really say too, too much in reality. But based on here, you can kind of see all the issuances and the amount uh, that they did physically buy back. So uh, when it comes down to it, like I said, just to confirm, they did not buy back any shares whatsoever. And I think I did buy passive, unfortunately. But needless to say, they did not buy back any shares and it was confirmed as of March the 31st, 2023. Um, it was right here. But still, one problem that I do have, you can kind of see right here the outstanding shares that under common stock, and this is as of March 31st, 2023. But based on stock scan, it does look like, and this was effective on March the 2nd, it now has 463 billion. So they are still diluting behind the scenes. So something is very wrong. Like I mentioned, I do feel that it is more so the insiders. And so for instance, if we kind of pull this up right here, it doesn't necessarily matter who, but you can kind of see right at the very bottom here, they all do have a huge amount of actual stock options, unexercised options. So technically they have up until 2027 to convert it. So this is where most likely they will be jumping all over this to convert uh, and take advantage of these options. If not, they're going to expire worthless. So they're going to convert all of these. And this most likely is why it did jump a huge amount. So almost about 120 billion, give or take. So definitely that is not a good sign um, in by any regard. So once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on that in the comments below, because by them diluting at these prices, like it goes to show that it's just devaluing HMC and it's gonna be worth nothing, unfortunately. And like I signaled over the last couple of videos and even when they did announce the actual X dividend date, I did say that unfortunately after that date, HCMC physically, not the HCWC, but HCMC is just going to dwindle out into absolutely nothing. So for HCMC's physical sake, they do really need to get approved on the New York Stock Exchange or potentially the NASDAQ because like I've said in the past, I don't feel that they do qualify for the New York Stock Exchange versus the NASDAQ, uh, based on especially more so the earnings, New York Stock Exchange does require a little bit more stringent amount of earnings and revenue and so forth versus the NASDAQ, they can accept almost anyone. The only qualification that the NASDAQ does need is for a stock to be at at least $4 per share. And that's obviously to be rolled out into them. So definitely that could be one viable option. But no matter what though, it will come with time. So based on their projections, it is going to be either at the tail end of Q2 or early Q3. So let me know you guys' thoughts on that in the 
the comments below and also let me know your thoughts have you been buying hcmc whatsoever i actually popped onto reddit um, on the hcmc and oddly enough some people were physically saying that they actually are loading up the boat as you can see so this was roughly around 15 days ago i doubled down yet again so i don't know if they did that on purpose because technically that is right before the April 26th, so maybe they want more of the HCWC, I'm not sure. So give yourself a shout out if you have been buying after this date and potentially why, because I'm kind of curious, are you a big fan or do you think there is going to be something that does develop maybe from the intellectual property, vitamin store, what is your take on that? But if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo and it is with Mumu. Link in the description below and also the comments. Sign up for a free account. You get one free stock. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Complete no brainer in my opinion. And plus Mumu does also offer $0 commission and free level two trading. So like I said, it is a complete no brainer. Link in the description below and also the comments. But with that said, I appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on HCMC or HCWC.